as I give you ideas on what are different ways that you can use Notion for as a virtual assistant. And there's a lot of different things, a lot of really exciting and fun things that you can do on Notion. Hey there, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, my goal is that at the end of this video is to walk you through what are different things that you can create inside of Notion to track yourself as a virtual assistant. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leanne Laila Kaba. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old and now run my own virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines. And I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so don't miss any of my videos. Now, hands down, one of my favorite tools to use every single day is Notion. I've been using it since basically pre-pandemic around 2019, 2018. And since then, my whole company is on it. All of the other companies and businesses that I've started are on it. And it's just one of the ways that is one of the easiest things to be able to learn. And once you learn it, it can be literally anything that you want it to be. It can even be a website, which is another video for the future. And I've even signed up as an affiliate for it. That's how much I love them. When you guys start using any of the examples that I have in this video, please use the link leanlay.com slash notion to again just support my channel a little bit as I give you ideas on what are different ways that you can use notion for as a virtual assistant and there's a lot of different things a lot of really exciting and fun things that you can do on notion now if you have no idea what notion is it used to be just thought of as a note-taking app and it was something that I was even using it for before I used to use it just for you know book notes or like courses notes and it's evolved into something much more and i'm going to give you guys 10 examples of different ways that you can use notion day to day one right off the bat is a goals tracker and this is honestly one of my favorite ways of using it is i can track the goals that i've set at the beginning of the year and keep seeing the progress that i go through as the year progresses as an example, at the beginning of the year, I had the goal to be able to travel once a month. And with Notion, I'm able to actually plot out already what that travel looks like for me, when I want to do it. Do I just want it to be like two hours away from here or an airplane right away? So that's one of the ways that I've been able to track my goals. You can also track revenue goals for your business as a virtual assistant. You can track things where you can see, again, that progression. They even have a cute little progress bar that you can use to see where you're at in regards or against, basically, the goal you've set at the beginning of the year, quarter, month, week, whatever it is, it's a good way to do that. Now, as a cool little freebie for you guys, I have a quick little goal tracker that I've linked below and I'll show other examples as well of really good goal trackers that I love myself that I think you guys would really enjoy. The next thing that you can use Notion for as a virtual assistant is a projects tracker. Now, this is a really cool one. I've used tools like Trello and Asana before, I've used ClickUp, I've used Monday, but I've really just stuck to using Notion just because it's so flexible for what I need when I'm tracking projects in my business. Now a project could be something that's usually just shorter than a goal that you've set. A project could be creating a YouTube channel. A project could be, you know, they have a definite end goal that doesn't have to be that long. So for me, whenever I have projects that I have in mind, I use the project tracker basically as a way for me to see the progress, the tasks that I have, which I'll go into in a little bit. And also just if I was working and collaborating with other people, it makes it so much easier for everyone to see where we are at. Now, again, there's a lot of different templates and I'll start linking them below of project trackers and also a bit of my own project tracker looks like just so you guys have different ideas for it but it's really amazing for when you're working with a client and you're able to actually see their projects from that point of view and have different views because notion has a board view they have a list view they have a table view they have a way for you to see it in a timeline there's a lot of really good functionality when it comes to using notion especially as you're tracking it as a virtual assistant the next way that you can use Notion, and I've kind of already mentioned it, is, is using it as a task list tracker. So what I mean by this is as you have your goal, you have your projects underneath that goal, you also have your tasks, what are things that you want to be able to do. So other than being just a task tracker inside a project where you can see everyone's tasks as they go through the project, you can also track and make your own task list. And this is something that I have done with myself. This is where I would track what are the more than things that I have to do in my day, what are the bigger tasks they have to do, what are the smaller tasks that are like less than two minutes that I can just do right off the bat. So it helps me keep me organized and inside of 2XU, inside of my company, I've been able to use it for my 
clients basically of giving them a task list that their assistant can see and also at the same time having their assistants have a task list that the client can see so it makes it very seamless and easy for both sides to see what they're doing or even use the same task list and just assign what task is for who again it makes that whole process of tracking what someone is supposed to be doing and what you're supposed to be doing as a person you can filter it to just your name and it can make it really easy to prioritize and be on the same page on what it is that you guys are supposed to be working on. Another way that you can use Notion is for your calendar or slash reminder. So one of the ways that I've used Notion is use basically what I call a tickler file. So a tickler file is basically what it sounds like. I use it to just tick off things that I need to remind myself to do. So it could just be doctor's appointments. It could be things that I need to buy at a certain date. So I know that I'm going to run out on my facial cleanser every six months. So at the end of that six months, I have a reminder to myself to like, hey, my facial cleanser is about to run out. I have to buy a new one without having to really add it into a shopping list. So it becomes an interactive way for me to see what are things upcoming. It doesn't have to be necessarily meetings that I have to do because I have Google Calendar for that. But Notion makes it easier for me to just add things seamlessly and I can even collaborate this with my task list so that everything is all in one place whether it's a task or a reminder to myself. This could also be follow-ups that I have to do with certain people with like potential clients or with assistants on tasks they're supposed to be doing. Easy for me to see it all in one place. Another way that you can use Notion as a virtual assistant is using it as a client tracker or a client info tracker. So let's say you're a virtual assistant and you have multiple clients. You can use Notion to track what are the different information for that client like what are their business what are their brand what are the tasks you're doing you can make one notion page for each client that you have that has a task tracker in it specifically for that client you could make it where you save their information on there like their mailing address their contact information what projects you guys are working on what was the agreed upon putting in the contracts in there putting in the invoices in there can just miss this whole thing where you're again like me running my whole business on notion another way that you can use notion as a virtual assistant is making a budget tracker so you can start using it as a quick and easy way for you to see you know where your expenses are at where your income is at see if it matches of course you can always just use google sheet and that's usually what i would recommend anyway but you can use notion for just a quick view of where things are at for your business i use it honestly for myself whenever it's my payday i use it as a reminder of like okay make sure to pay these bills i have all of it in one page i can easily view it also use it as a shopping list tracker again i have that reminder from my tickler file or from my reminder of calendar that oh I need to buy this and this and this I have a shopping list that I drop that into so you can see that notion is really versatile on what it is that you can use it for and that's one of the reasons why I really really love it another way that you can use notion as a virtual assistant is use it as a training tracker now this is something that as you keep learning and up leveling your skills you're able to actually track what are the books that you've read what are the courses you've gone through what are the certifications that you've gotten so far you can track if there are courses that you want to study so you have a to study list what you're currently studying and what you've finished studying that's a really cool way for you to be able to just track all of the skills that you've garnered so far so then anytime that a client asks you like hey do you know how to do this you look at your list of like oh yeah i've done that before these are examples that i've been doing it i've done this course i've done this book so it just becomes a really good way for you to not just track your skills but to also a way for you to see what are things that you've studied also that you can then reference later i use it myself as a book tracker as well where i literally have a mini digital library of all of the books that i've studied so then whenever i want to grab quotes i want to put it in notion i can save it on there and i can repeat it back at any time if i just wanted to review my own notes another way that you can use notion as a virtual assistant and I'm going to come up with a video on this probably soon is you can use it as a way for you to create a portfolio or basically just an assets master list. Now what I mean by this is every single thing that you create, whether you're a virtual assistant, especially if you're a content creator, or if you are a programmer, whatever it is that you've done before, you can start putting them into Notion as a portfolio. Now I do have multiple videos on my channel about how to create a portfolio as a virtual assistant, but what I'm talking about specifically here is a way for you to just have a platform for everything that you've created so far, so you can track it, show it off, and have it be something that as you are looking for new clients, 
clients, you can show them like, hey, these are the work that I've done before and you don't have to keep looking through Facebook and Instagram of your past clients to be able to bring it up. Now, another way that you can use Notion as a virtual assistant is a habit tracker. Now, this is something, of course, for more personal, but it's one of the ways that I've been able to track my habits after reading the book Atomic Habits by James Clear is that I've been able to see, okay, how many times this week was I able to meditate? How many times this week was I able to read? You can use Notion's table feature and have everything be a checkbox and you can just tick off when you do certain habits and it's really important as a virtual assistant you have really good habits and I have a whole video on that on different habits that you need as a virtual assistant and the habits that I use so it's easy for me to see am I on track am I not on track on the things that I want to do every single day week or month as a habit and finally one of the biggest and honestly coolest things that I find with Notion that I use it a lot for is I use it as a personal dashboard what I mean by this is I just basically imagine that my whole life is in this thing and like everything exists here. My brain can trust that it has my habits tracker, it has my book tracker, it has my to-do list, it has my project list. I don't have to keep switching. I can see all of my priorities right in the get-go when I open the app. I use the favorites feature that they have so that's the first thing that I see. And because it's my personal dashboard, I can tweak it as many times as you want. I can see the things that I really want to see. And as I'm working with different clients, I'm able to just track everything from that one app instead of having to switch to a lot of different apps. Again, if you guys want to sign up for Notion, if you haven't yet, please feel free to use my link, leannelight.com slash Notion to help support this channel and me. And if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what are the ways that you think you can use Notion for. I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an awesome night. Remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.